Steve Davis on his way into the arena, and your host for the evening is Brian Mulder. Steve, that was one hell of an entry. Uh, just uh, for the other players later on, mind that step over there. There's a little step there. When you come out of the dark into the light, there's a little step. Mind that step. Defending champions. Certainly hope you're going to do it again this year. First land to the slaughter. Right up then. Steve Davis and the disappearing shot. the door now ladies and gentlemen this is where five points are awarded for each ball potted with a five point bonus available if all three balls disappear Whoa. first up Steve Davis sounds exciting so which three balls are those so it's the black in that corner pocket the pink in that one and the white one in that pocket as well hopefully You get two goes at this shot. <laughs> I don't expect blood, it's early. <laughs> and don't drink yet. As we said, he's got two attempts at this. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was a bird and you were a statue. Right, I found out what was going wrong there. Whoa. Oh, nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> Moving slowly along to the <laughs> machine gun shot now. So five points have been scored now by Steve Davis in the opening part of the compulsory and that is of course Very the disappearing shot the idea was there to get the white ball away which he did <laughs> and now we come to the machine gun shot this is where a minimum of seven balls red balls that is will be required the idea here for the non snooker players in the audience would be to try and get the white ball to get as near if not down the hole after the red balls have gone <laughs> Uh, can we do that after the red ones have gone in, please, right. Steve? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It's two points per red ball, and of course the bonus of ten points for the white ball should it get there. Defending champion off to a rather conservative start. <laughs> okay. So if I get the white and get ten points. <laughs> One. Yes, that'll do me just for the start. Thank you very much. Thank you. Give him a nice round of applause then. Steve Davis. Total score for Steve Davis is 17 points. 17 points in for Steve Davis. For South Africa's Peter Francisco, it's been a difficult year. He's currently suspended by snooker's governing body from playing on the lucrative international circuit. Winning this event, though, could just give his confidence the boost that he needs. Bearing in mind I'm in the ranks of the unemployed at the moment, so uh, it would really boost me and my cause and South African snooker for that matter. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I'd absolutely love to win it. There he is, Peter Francisco. Welcome, Peter. 
Local boy, we certainly hope you're going to do good year. You finished sixth last year. Did I? Uh, well, I'm going to do better this year. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to follow Steve. But we'll, <laughs> we'll have a go. All right. Give him a nice room round of applause then, Peter Francisco. Well, he said he's got to follow Steve, and Steve's got 17 points on the board. So let's see how local talent fares here tonight. Would have been five points, uh, pretty much the same start that uh, Steve has just done. Let's see if it can capitalize here. Oh, well done then. That is a maximum of 20 points scored in the first uh, section of this division. And uh, that certainly has put the cat amongst the pigeons. Now he's got the machine gun shot coming up. And boy, has he chosen enough red balls here. <laughs> As you know, it's got to be... a. Uh, Minimum of seven. He's chose to go for ten. Uh, I'm going to reach the last one. He's gone for nine. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be definitely, he'll be trying for ten. Ten balls. And, of course, he's trying to get the white ball either within a ball of the hole, if not down the hole. Here we go. No. Just to see if it does go down there, that is. <laughs> Obviously, what Peter's doing right now, ladies and gentlemen, is just getting the pace of the cloth. Uh, oh, the red as well. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure that would follow, yes. Uh, in the, in, not particularly in that order. Though. Here we go. Peter Francisco. Oh, that's not bad. Five reds then going down. <laughs> Don't forget, he's got a second chance at this. So he's got ten points in the bag at this stage. In this section, Steve uh, did twelve. So uh, let's see what Peter does now. He's got the feel of things. Got the pace of the cloth. Oh, bad luck, but 18 points. 18 points snack going there for Peter Francisco. And he now finishes with 40 points, ladies and gentlemen, for Peter Francisco. 40 points.